In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new site, mainly a team site. From a website um, where you have a permission to create a subsite, you can create a, a, a new site. So you may wonder, how do you know? How do I know if I have a permission? So go ahead and click on the site actions button and then come down to new site. So if that new site uh, menu option is available, then you do have a permission to create a website um, under the current site. So go ahead and click on new site menu. And then you'll be given a number of choices in terms of what type of site that you'll be creating. So we are going to create a team site. It is uh, designed for uh, team projects. So you can share documents um, and then uh, create web pages and that sort of kind of things. And also you have uh, other options such as a document workspace. This is, a, this is an ideal template for um, working on multiple documents with multiple team members or colleagues. So you can upload, uh, you can create, you can edit, um, and also you can archive documents with um, many people. And then we also have a basic t uh, meeting workspace. This is designed for a series, one or a series of meetings, uh, mainly for longer, uh, long-term meetings where you can plan, you can organize, you can document, um, you can distribute um, the result of meetings and so on. Um, there are other types of uh, uh, sites or templates, but you don't need to worry too much about it because these are just templates, meaning that all the tools that is specifically organized or packaged for, for example, the meeting workspace, those tools are also available in other uh, templates. Uh, you can um, get those tools um, for other types of uh, sites or uh, workspace. So let's come to the, uh, the site title. So let's give it a name. Let's say um, project new start. That's the name of or the title of the site. And then come down to username. Uh, I'm sorry, not username. That's URL name or the website address. So um, as I mentioned, it is um, it is the the URL name is going to become part of the URL or the website address. And also another way of saying it is a, a folder name. So <clears throat> you need to be very careful in terms of a naming the URL name. So let me quickly go over the details. So first of all, um, use only letters and numbers or numbers and no special characters such as tilde, exclamation mark, at, or pound signs, and so on. Incidentally, uh, blank space is also a special character. So uh, substitute a blank space with an underscore, just like that. Um, alternatively, you could use a camel case rule. So basically, the first letter of the, the word is uh, capitalized and there's no blank space between words. So for example, let's say the site name is a pet dose apostrophe uh, practice site. So we have blank space and apostrophe. That's fine for the site name. But when it comes to URL name, you need to replace either uh, with um, underscores and remove the uh, apostrophe or that's a special character. So remove that. And so that's what you can have. Alternatively, you could use a camel case rule. So basically remove the blank space, 
remove the uh, special characters and then um, convert if if it's not already uh, uh, change the uh, first letter of the the word to uppercase so let's come back here the URL name let's say project I'm gonna use a camel case um, so project new start no blank space so click on create so it may take a minute um, not a minute um, a moment well it took me about two or three seconds and now you have it um, it's a brand new site and um, first of all where are we so let's take a look at uh, navigate up button and we were at I was here so then now the current site is project new start and that's the home page and so this is a sub site of the the parent site that I was uh, I was uh, that I started this site okay so we have first of all we have the name of the site so that's also is a link uh, to the home page or the default page this is, this is the uh, default page and in the quick launch navigation bar we have libraries lists and discussions so what are the libraries libraries are um, it's is a uh, are the places that you put stuff in so let's say you have words files and excel files you put it up there um, for example share the documents this is a one of the libraries within the main libraries so let's click on uh, share the documents and then you can uh, upload and download you can edit um, and share the file and let me go back up um, I guess I have to go here and then um, you have other libraries so you can put um, pictures and uh, videos and things like that so you can share you can edit with uh, your team members okay lists so lists are uh, there are tools to uh, make your site more dynamic so for example you can create an announcement or you can add calendar items such as meetings and so on you can uh, compile a list of links for your project or you can create and follow through uh, certain tasks so these are the, all the uh, uh, list, list items and you can create more list items and um, you can have a workflows and, and so on so that's a list and then you have a discussion so that's if you want to have a discuss, team discussion that's where you can uh, create a new discussion um, the last item here is called all site content so this is a one quick way to look at what you have on your website so all these uh, assets of your uh, site is listed here so as you create a new um, web pages of the site you'll see it here if you create uh, create sub sites you will see that here as well all right so let me go back up here click on the um, the, the name of the site you will come back to the home page all right so let's take a look at what we have so this is a plain text and then we have something something's different from the plain text this is called um, web part and web part is kind of a special kind of a gadget that you could use and I'll kind of explain more detail in another video but I'll give you a quick um, overview and also we have a, we have an image you can you know delete it you can replace it with another image and so on and then come down here getting started so what these are the kind of quick uh, tools that you could uh, organize your site so uh, keep them there okay let's see um, so once you have this web page this is the home page 
of the site, you can edit it. So let's go ahead and click on uh, page tab. And then you can do a bunch of things. You can uh, uh, email the links and that sort of kind of things. You can um, invite people and so on. So let's go ahead and click on the edit button. And then that'll take us to the, uh, the full editing mode. So you'll see the blinking insertion point. So that means we are in an editing mode. So let's say I highlight it and then I'm gonna replace it. Let's say um, project new start site. So you can see, you can uh, edit it. You can change the color of the font to something else if you want to. And if you want to, you can edit, add more contents, text here. So this is very simple. Um, you know, if you know how to use Microsoft Word, you can use it. All right, so now let's take a look at um, the editing tools tab. So we, we have two sub ribbons, so text, uh, format text and insert. And on the insert, you have, let's see, come on. Okay, so under the insert tab, you have a web part. So web part is the one that you could put things from the storage in a way speaking, uh, the list or the, uh, the libraries. You can put those items. So, for example, a calendar. I don't. I didn't set any calendar items, so there's nothing there. But you could add the calendar onto the page, and this is basically what it is. Okay. So let me go back here, uh, format text, and then once you are done, you can go ahead and click on save and close. Or uh, if you don't want to save it, just go ahead and click on stop editing. Then it'll give you a chance to discard any changes. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close. So I'll come out of the editing mode. And now I'm in the uh, viewing mode. So you can go down and, and click and that sort of kind of things. Um, let's see. Let me just briefly explain what we have in terms of our web part or other things. So a lot of things that you see on the home page or the pages um, is actually, um, it's just a renderment or they are just a window of the actual content. So the shared documents is a, a library item. Um, so if you click here and the shared documents and whatever you put up here in the shared uh, documents library you will see here. So that's why, that's what I meant by this is just a window of the actual contents. Okay, I think that's, uh, that should do, let's see, let me go back to browse. Um, that will do um, the basics of uh, creating a new team site. And I hope that you uh, can do the same thing without um, any problem.